All right, if you want to see me go from this to this, stay tuned. Because I'm going to show you how I did that. So what I'm about to show you are the workouts that worked best for me. I'm going to show you the strictly booty targeting workouts because there's workouts that can work out quads and glutes or hamstrings and glutes but like i'm gonna show you my favorite ones to just grow your glutes i mean you're probably gonna get other muscles engaged of course with every workout but anyways so i'm just gonna talk real quick and then i promise i'll get to the workouts but i'm just gonna give you guys some advice real quick of what helped me through my journey so i'm gonna tell you four things that I think if you consistently do, then you will see results. So the first thing I'm gonna say is consistency. That is the biggest thing, obviously, because if you're very on and off, like go two days a week and then don't go for a week and then go another two days, your body's just not really gonna benefit from that. You're not giving it enough of that consistency to be able to grow. Just consistency is key. I, I've known so many people who've talked to me and they've said that they've tried going, they're good for three days and then they kind of flake and give up for a week. And for beginners, that is definitely normal. I'd say when you're trying to create a habit, it's, it's hard to stay consistent with something new. Like for me, for my journey, I very much was not going consistently at all. And then I was upset on why I didn't see any results. And it's because I wasn't consistent. So you need to make time for the gym. That is so important. Because even if you step your foot in the door and you're doing something, but you're you're kind of having it, that's fine. At least you're doing something, right? I mean, you may not get the results you want quick enough, but you'll be getting somewhere, you're starting, and that's okay. It's not gonna be perfect right off the bat. Just stay consistent and believe in yourself. Okay, so consistency. So another tip I give is you need to, if you're in my position where you cannot put on weight um, for the life of you, you eat a lot and you stay tiny, and if you miss a meal, you lose a pound. Like, if, if that's your situation, you need, need, need. To consume a lot more calories because I had known that in the back of my head that I should probably be eating more while I was trying to go to the gym and I for, and then I guess just one day it clicked and I was like maybe maybe I should eat more and then I figured it out I ate a lot more and I saw some extreme changes like right away okay not right away but you know like if you're consistent with both working out and eating then i guarantee you're gonna see a difference and if you are just wanting to gain muscle and lose fat i suggest you eat clean you eat healthy but you still should be getting your calories as well that's important for everybody also how i figured out how many calories i needed too is i downloaded the app my fitness pal no, they did not sponsor this video, but I downloaded that and you put in your weight, your height, your goal, and they kind of give you a whole layout of how much you should be eating in a day. And that is what started me. And that I, that was very, very helpful um, to start with. I don't use it anymore because I have an idea now of what I should be eating, um, but it was very, very helpful at the beginning of starting to eat more because I was completely clueless on what to do. So tip number three is you need to push yourself. That is so huge too. I mean, there's so many times where I went to the gym and I was like, whatever, we'll lift weights, we'll try, but not really. You know, I'm doing something at least, which is good until an extent where you're plateauing and you get frustrated, you need to remember to push yourself. And that meaning don't do the same workouts every time you go to the gym. I say this because I've been there and I've made these mistakes so many times, but just within the past year, I've been switching up my leg routine. Every, every time I do leg day, I try to switch it up to something different, but I also keep like those main exercises. Like I'd say my main exercises for legs are squats, deadlifts, and hip thrusts. So I continue to do those every leg day and I just increase 2.5 to five pounds every single leg day, or I try to. And then all my other little workouts, like on the free weights and all that, I like to switch up as much as I can because you're targeting new muscles and 
overall, when you just do new things, your body will continue to grow than just plateau and get used to those workouts. So I recommend you, I mean, you have to push yourself. That is huge. And my last tip is you need to be patient with yourself because you will not see results right off the bat and that's just guaranteed. For me, I've totally, again, been there where I've sat there and I've worked out consistently for two weeks or maybe even a month and uh, I looked at my body and I'm like, nothing is changing. Like, and then you get in your head and you're like, this is pointless. I'm trying, I'm getting nowhere. Like, uh, it's frustrating, I give up. You know, don't, don't give up. Trust me, if I gave up, I would not be where I'm at today. Well, let me tell you that. Like, don't give up. You need to understand that your body, it's gonna take its time or depending on how much you push yourself, right? You just need to be patient and just have that in your head that it'll get there when it gets there. Um, I do recommend taking progress pictures because it is actually really hard to like realize how much weight you're putting on or losing if you're not documenting it because there's been times where I've looked in the mirror and I'm like, I look the same, but I think I look different. But then I will go back six months ago to a photo and I'm like, whoa, I look way different than I did then. You know, and then it kind of clicks and then you're like, okay, it's working. But yes, be patient with yourselves. I promise you'll get there. I promise, but you have to follow those four tips that I just gave you in order to see results. Like seriously, I recommend all of those. But anyways, I am going to show you guys my favorite booty workouts and I'm gonna start uploading my other exercises. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them. If you want to see any other workouts that I'm doing, um, please comment and tell me everything you wanna see and I'll get those all made for you guys. All right, enjoy.
Gotta stay hydrated. You guys so much for watching my video i seriously hope that was really helpful um again that is everything i've done for my favorite blue exercises this is definitely my go-to if you guys see progress using my videos please 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 send me your befores and afters and i will post them on my page on my instagram which is at jj -E -S -S -H -E -S -S, so at jess -S. If you guys were willing to send me those, I would love to post them. But yeah, I hope those worked for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.